Hey everyone, welcome back. Guys, in this video, you are going to see how you can automatically send customized data from Google Sheets application into Pabli Connect or in any other application via Pabli Connect. So guys, Pabli Connect is an integration and automation tool by which you can connect to different type of applications and automate the flow of data between them. Okay. And here I am going to explain a feature of Pabli Connect Webhooks add-on that you can install it in Google Sheets application, which allow you to fetch the data from a particular range present between a particular range of rows and columns inside your spreadsheet. And you can fetch that data via Pabli Connect and send it into a different application for different kind of uses. Okay. Let me show you how it is going to work. And this, uh, feature is going to save a lot of your manual efforts and time which you have to spend on manually sorting out the data uh, from your spreadsheet and copying that data into different application okay so guys this is my spreadsheet i have created and i have the data of my customers here like this okay so here i have the name the email and the mobile number and the availability of that number on whatsapps i have saved it here and i have connected this same spreadsheet with a different spreadsheet which is this Okay. And I have connected these two uh, spreadsheets with the help of Pabli Connect. Okay. Now let's say that I want to uh, fetch some specific data of a specific range from this sheet and I want to send it to here. For that what I can do, uh, I just have to select the data. Let's say I want to uh, send the data from this fourth row to this tenth row to here in this spreadsheet. Okay. So you just have to select this data here. Oh no, sorry, you don't have to select the data. You just have to click on extensions and from this Pabli Connect Webhooks option. So this is the add on that you can install here. And from this Pabli Connect Webhooks add on, just click on send custom data option. Click on send custom data. And here you have to put the range like this. Just put the start range as a4 this means column a row 4 and the end range is column d row 10 okay that's how you can put the range let me show you here we have the data from column a row 2 to column d row 12 but right now I want to send the data from this column a row 4 to column d row 10 okay so that's how you have to put the range here in this send custom data option a4 d10 okay now just click on submit and let's check in this spreadsheet if we got the data and here you can see we got the data sorted out from a specific range from the spreadsheet and we got the data here so you can see we got the details from Sheba to Anju Kalra and here you can see in the select end range we have the data of Sheba to Anju Kalra only okay so this is how you can uh, do this okay and let me show you how we have made this automation and how you can also do this so first of all guys you need to log in into your Pabli Connect account okay and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect and to reach here you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month so sign up right now and reach here and guys here you have to uh, create a workflow just click here on this create workflow button and here you can give any suitable name to this automation here i am giving the name as send custom data automation okay and click on create here okay so here you will find these two things guys the trigger and the action so this automation work on these two things. So the trigger is hap is the happening of that event which is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action is the response towards the trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be uh, clicking on the send on data, send, uh, send custom data 
and the action would be to send the data here okay so here you have to first of all set up the trigger and from this choose app field choose the trigger application which is google sheets in our case select the google sheets and in the trigger event select this new or updated spreadsheet row option and it will give you this url this is called as a webhook url guys and with the help of this we are going to make this connection and it is used to fetch the data out from an external application to here in public connect so by following these instructions written here we can make this connection let me show you how exactly you can do this just copy this webhook url from here then go back to your spreadsheet and then from this extensions option click on add-ons and click on get add-ons okay and from this google workspace marketplace you have to install an add-on here which is called pably connect webhooks okay so uh, you can see this is pably connect webhooks it will just take two minutes to install and you can see i have already installed it so i do not need to install it again so I'm, after installing pably connect webhooks you have to refresh your spreadsheet this is an important step to remember after installing pably connect webhooks refresh the spreadsheet okay and after that when you click on extensions you will find this pably connect webhooks option available here in the drop down only from here guys click on initial setup okay and under this initial setup you will find these two fields the webhook url field and the trigger column field so in the webhook url field i am going to paste the webhook url that you have that i have copied <coughs> from pably connect and in the trigger column uh, you have to put the final data entry column of your spreadsheet which means the final data entry column is the d column okay because here we are entering the data finally or lastly okay we are we will start entering the data from this name email mobile number then at the last we'll enter the data here and as you enter the data here that is going to trigger the workflow that so this is called as the trigger column okay so click on extension public and web books initial setup and here let me paste the web book url that you have copied and the trigger column is d now you can see in public connect as I have copied this webhook URL it started showing this waiting for the webhooks response. So this means now you have to perform a test submission. For that you have to just click on this send test button in this initial setup and the data of the first row that we have here in the spreadsheet will be delivered here as the test data. Let me show you. I am clicking on send test and you can see the data got sent successfully and here you can see we got the data captured of the first row like this okay here in this response receive section you can see the details the name the email the mobile number the whatsapp availability we got the details here okay so we are done making the connection just click on submit here okay now guys if you want to send this data from your spreadsheet to any other application you can use this action step and connect any other application that you want for now i'm just showing you the example of google sheets only okay so i am selecting google sheets otherwise you can select any other application if we have 800 plus applications available here to make the connections okay so you can use any other and here i'm selecting google sheets again and the action event would be uh, add new row option okay because i want to add a new row here in this sheet okay now click on connect and from this window select add new connection then click on connect with google sheets and here uh, you have to select the google account by which you have created that sheet okay select the account provide additional accesses to public connect just click on continue to make this connection and you can see the authorization is successful and we'll be connected here like this now it is asking to select the spreadsheet and the sheet's name. So my second sheet is this named as second sheet. Let me select this from this field. Here it is. Okay, the, so the sheet's name is selected here automatically because we have only one sheet here, the name as sheet one. Okay. Now it is asking for the name, email, mobile number and this WhatsApp availability. So here I'm going to use the data that I have received here from the first step. And I'm going to map these things here. 
So to map the name, just click here and you will see this Google Sheet steps in the drop down. And from here only, you can see all the data that you have received in the first step. So just map it from here. For the email, use the same way, map the email. For the mobile number, map the mobile number and the availability you will see here. Okay. So now you can check your connection with this spreadsheet guys uh, by clicking on save and send test request and this data will be sent here as the test data and will be added in this new row. Okay. So I'm clicking on save and send test request and this is the response we have received. Let's check in the sheet if we got the data and you can see a new another row got added here with this data Adam Smith and all these things which we have mapped here like this. Okay. So connection is working properly and we are done setting up this automation. Now let me show you how we can send the custom data now. Okay. So we are done setting up this automation, right? Now uh, let me erase this data from this second sheet. Okay. And I'm going to coming back to my first sheet and let's say uh, I want to send the data of the last four or five rows. Okay. So for, uh, I want to send the data from this eighth row to the twelfth row. Okay. Cool. So click on extensions from Babli Connect Webbox. Click on send custom data. Okay. And guys, we have all other options as send all data. So when you click on send all data, all the data that you have in a spreadsheet will be delivered all together in this sheet. Okay. So you can use that option also. If you want to send uh, the data on a scheduled date and time, you can use this option. If you want to send custom data that I am explaining to you, you can use this option. If you want to send the data as and when you enter the data, you can use this send on event button. Okay. And you can read about these all, all these features in this setup guide option. You can see we have the setup guide, click on it and you can read about these options available here. Okay. Let me first show you the demo from Pavli Connect Webbox. I'm using custom data options. Click on send custom data. And right now I am going to put the range as A8, column A, row 8. And let's say I do not want to send the data of the D column. I just want to send the data up to C column. So I'm putting the range here as C12. Okay. Right. So we have excluded the D column, right? That's uh, you can also do that. And I'm clicking on submit. Let's check in the sheet if we got the data and you can see we got the data up to the C column only. And the data is from Rich Anayak to Karina Kapoor. And you can see here we got the data of the eighth row is Rich Anayak and 12th row was Karina Kapoor. Okay. And the same data we got here like this. That's how you can fetch the data from a particular range in from your from your one spreadsheet to any other application. Okay. And guys, the best part is uh, you can use all these options and you can use the workflow I have created also because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.